A lot of times on videos on the internet, people don't show you the mistakes <gasps> or like the trial and error. Eee, don't do that. From what I've seen so far doing crystal experiments, it doesn't go the way that you plan. I just heard a crack. I'm actually kind of hashing out the problems that I run into so that you guys really don't have to. Oh, that's cool. Oh my gosh. Hey guys, we're going to be actually doing a cool fun science experiment today. It's gonna to be a little, slightly more advanced. This substance in front of me, these really beautiful crystals are what's called chromium potassium sulfate, AKA chrome alum. And this is from the Science Shop USA. The reason that we're gonna be using chrome alum is that you can get these gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous purple crystals. And we're gonna use those seed crystals to actually grow a much larger crystal on a piece of rock and make our own specimen. So we're gonna walk you guys through how to do this. So we got our steamy water. You don't boil it, you just get it really hot. So we've got 100 milliliters of water and we're gonna add 60 grams of chrome alum. And so now the stirring begins. I want it all to dissolve. Oh, it's like blue. I had read that it was a different color, but I had never seen it. This is actually used in leather tanning. And if that tells you kind of the level of chemical it is, like it's not gonna outright hurt you, but you really don't wanna like leave it on your skin. So honestly, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna filter this because I don't think I'm gonna get all of these little chunks out of here and I don't want them to be in my final solution. So we're gonna put a paper towel over this. Essentially, I am filtering out like the bigger chunks. Okay guys, so now that we've made our chrome alum solution, now we're going to make our alum solution and the reason we're gonna do that is we wanna actually be able to see light pass through our crystals. So this alum is actually a food grade and it's used a lot of times for like pickling and things like that. This alum would grow a completely clear crystal. So we're gonna add the two together. I'm just eyeballing it. You want to do this until nothing dissolves anymore. We're gonna just add it to the beaker and add in our chrome alum. Isn't that neat? Until we have a mixture that we're happy with the color of. I think the color is really pretty, that just that bluish purple color. Kind of reminds me of tanzanite. So we're gonna leave this maybe a few days and kind of check on it. I might actually have to play with the ratio. And if I end up doing that, I will let you guys know. So since you guys last saw this, it was maybe four or five days ago. I've actually not poured this out. I have refrained from checking. It's a really, really dark liquid. So of course, unfortunately, like a time lapse won't work because you can't see through it. I am so stoked to see these things. So you get these like awesome bursts of this purple color. You can kind of see like some of the, whoo, like that guy. That guy's gonna be awesome, I hope. Look how blue that is. That is like super blue. Oh no, they did slide. Please don't have broken. Eee, don't do that. Oh, God. I hope I didn't hurt them. Oh, that's so cool. Okay. I'm hoping that you guys can see the growth rings. You can see how it took that original shape and built upon it. It's really cool in person. I'm gonna have purple fingernails. These are cubic crystals. Yeah, I'm like really surprised how quickly these things grew. Yeah, I guess I got enough. So we're actually gonna try to make our own mineral specimen. We never tried this. You guys may be wondering where I got my beautiful rocks. Well, we have a culvert outside and I went and took them. I wanted stuff, if I got a big crystal to grow on it, that it would look like a specimen on Matrix. So I'm just gonna glue all of them on there and make it look pretty. His own. <gasps> this is so hard. That looks, it looks pretty cool. Now I just have to hope and pray that as soon as I add my solution to it, it doesn't just all fall off, ruin it. My hope is that these bigger crystals right here like grow really big and this gets like a really nice octahedral shape on top. So I guess the next thing that we can do here is prepare our solution. I want that rock to have every opportunity to grow upwards. So I'm trying to make this solution really saturated. So. I hope I don't mess this up really bad. Like there's no good way for me to get this in there because I really can't touch the water. Oh, people, oh, people, oh, people. <gasps> oh my gosh, oh no, I think I broke it. Oh no, oh no. Okay, you know what? No, 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 Elizabeth, do not burn yourself. Let's oh, it's not that hot. Okay. I just did that for no reason. I think I really broke it. Yep. 
I broke it. Good news is the only thing I broke was the big one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to glue that up back on there really quick. I cannot believe I did that. Okay, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna do it. Okay, take two where I don't cry. I don't even know if that glue is gonna cure now, but I didn't want to waste all of this solution. So I'm gonna leave it for a few days. I'm not gonna be able to see anything going on. When you guys see this, like it's gonna be the first time I'm seeing it. So yeah, here we go. I have been worried about this all weekend. I was devastated. <laughs> we wanted to include you guys in on all of my successes and failures. So moment of truth, you may see me cry. Okay, so that crystal did fall off. I can tell it did. I don't know how well these are stuck on there. I just touched it and like the whole thing wanted to peel off. You can see where that is actually the glue where it did not stick. So I think because I had wet crystals and a damp rock where I had tried to clean it off, I just think nothing, nothing stuck. So our goal from here is we're going to let everything dry out, probably, you know, a day or two, and then we're gonna come back and glue everything on dry, let it dry again, and then set the experiment back up. It's had, I guess, a day or two to dry now. Yeah, here we go again. Got my handy dandy glue. If this doesn't work this time, I'm breaking out a hot glue gun. It's like really weird blowing on a rock. little turn for the camera. So we are going to let this dry for a day or two. Then we're gonna put it in a solution and get it to grow. We have now had enough time lapse in between that it is nice and stiff. You can see nothing's moving. So what we're doing today is we're gonna make our big solution and put our crystals in here and let it sit. Hopefully it works. I've had such bad luck with these crystals so far, but it's literally the first time I've ever done any of this with chrome alum. I think I'm actually going to put this in first. We're gonna give it about a week and see what happens. I'm having like kind of an existential crisis right now because I realized I don't know where the rock is. I don't know how big the crystals are in here. I don't know how attached it is on the bottom and I'm gonna have to try to get it out. And I'm actually really scared. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. There was all of this buildup on the bottom. So we're gonna try to get this as low as we can, just pouring it out really slowly. This did not grow the way I was hoping. It basically made it druzy. So I didn't get my big pretty crystal. It just basically grew over top of it. <sighs> this is like very crumbly. I'm starting to think I'm doing this wrong. <laughs> Why are you so crappy? <gasps> Apparently nothing wants to stick with this glue. I think we're gonna have to do hot glue. The crystals actually don't stick to each other. So as a geologist, this is like really peeving me. They just crumble so easily. Because you guys get to watch me struggle, this means you don't have to. You guys get to see basically what not to do. You may actually see me running like four little jars from home and we're just gonna do stuff in each one and see which one works out the best. So we are back with more of our chrome alum. This particular experiment, how should we say it? It's had its ups and downs. So. We're gonna try something different. We're gonna use hot glue today. So with some research, we found that you can actually make a more stable solution, the more alum, like pure alum that you use rather than chrome alum. Usually this recipe boils down to 400 milliliters of water, 12 grams of your chrome alum, and 100 grams of your regular old alum. And so what we did is since I'm gonna need more than that 400 milliliters of water, we went ahead and just doubled it. So what we're gonna do here is attempt to create not a seed crystal, but like a seed specimen almost. So we're gonna have a bunch of beakers going. Okay, we might as well go ahead and like glue some stuff to things. Ta-da! <laughs> Craft time! So 
This time, guys, just to summarize it, we are going to be using a lot more alum rather than chrome alum. With these two, we're just gonna throw them in those little beakers and we're gonna just see if a crystal will attach to them. If the crystals just wanna grow on them and I don't have to glue them on, then that's even better. I'm not enjoying the bubbles coming out of it. I don't like this. <laughs> Please don't tell me I just made an acid. So I guess we might as well just lower these down in here and hope for the best. I'm kind of afraid it's gonna dissolve our crystals. Usually it is weak acids react with calcium carbonate, which is what these rocks are. We just had enough bubbles created off of a rock to have the crystal fall off of this one. This one seems like it's gonna stay, so uh, Let's continue burying it under our scary solution. So literally took a quick trip outside. This is quartzite made of quartz. Quartz does not dissolve in acid. So we're going to see what this does with the quartz. If you do this with more alum and things like that, please don't touch your face, wash your hands. All right, so we are done for the day and uh, Hopefully something works. See you guys soon. This is the bane of my existence when it comes to crystal growing. So I may or may not seem excited. It's more dread than anything. <laughs> these have been like super terrible to deal with. This one, these littler jars, we put no seed crystals in there. What the heck? Okay, I'm not entirely sure what's going on here. I think these are all itty bitty little crystals. Oh, this, this actually has stuff on it. Like I can feel it. Oh, cool. Okay, so we did get one that grew on the rocks. So this is kind of reminiscent of like Herkimer diamonds, how they grow in like a corner of a rock. So that's that's actually pretty neat. The earlier stuff, like I barely touch it and would like just drop off. So I am really happy with the fact that like I can rub this and it's not just disintegrating. So the next one. <laughs> wah, wah. This is the quartz, wah, wah. Um, okay, so pretty much nothing growing on this guy. Oh, no, no don't do this to me. Like, I'm trying not to touch. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, that's cool, oh my gosh. And this acid, it definitely ate it, I can tell, looking at the surface of this rock. But look at that. I really like both of them. I think we'll just put the two back. We're just gonna see how big we can get these. So here's to hoping that nothing goes wrong. Cause I could have stopped there, but you know, we're gonna push the envelope with everything we do. So we let them go almost two weeks. It became essentially a sludge. So it's got this crust on top and it's really nasty. We had to actually rinse off one of our mineral specimens because we took it out and it got this like crazy green, I don't know, coating. So obviously don't be like me and get too greedy. I would definitely keep an eye on it. So what we're gonna do is since we now know the ratios that we need, for our solution. We're gonna do a big beaker. You guys may recognize this rock. It's the one that we attempted to super glue things to. So I'm gonna hot glue stuff, cause that seemed to work. Never knew my degree would be used in such a way. <laughs> okay guys, so we have our original rock with Crystals 2.0. So now we have our premix solution. We changed the ratio of chrome alum to alum. So they should be darker. Part of me is waiting for this thing to bubble like crazy, like the last one did. Oh, oh it's kind of bubbling a little bit. So hopefully these crystals will get big. They'll grow really well. They'll look really pretty. You guys now have gotten to see like all the real life struggles of trying to grow these things. Whereas other videos on the internet are like, look how easy this is. And it's like, no, it's taking me a month to figure this out. We're trying to make like a bigger specimen, like something that you guys would see like on unboxing or like at a gym and mineral show or something that really looks similar to something that come out of the ground. Okay. Like I'm really scared of this because I'm afraid I'm gonna break it. Oh, yay. Okay, okay, okay. So this turned out pretty good. <laughs> I'm a little surprised. It actually has like a really pretty color to it. Even the lighter purple does too. I'm, I'm really tickled that it worked out so well. So we finally have like this dark crystal that light still passes through. We have these really, really beautiful octahedral crystals. I love clusters of stuff on a matrix and that was really what I was going for. So I think, I think we finally had a success. <laughs> So
So do you guys have seen it has been an absolute roller coaster? You know, actually let us know if you try it because I'd be really interested to see if you guys have, well, better success than I did with some of these. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell so that you don't miss any future crystal growing videos. And I will see you guys later.